colored pencils, flowers. With Mr. J. So we are going to start today by making a gradient. Now we've talked about gradients before when we've used watercolor, when we've used colored pencil before. And in this case, we're going to start dark. So we're going to press down just a little bit. We're not going to press down that hard. We're going to press down with maybe a medium pressure. And as we go along, kind of slowly pulling our arm to the right, we get lighter and lighter. And you'll see at the very end, we don't have any color at all. But you'll see by the examples on the left side and on top there, what we're trying to look for, what we're trying to create is trying to make a gradient going from dark all the way to light. And usually what we do with this is going past it or going through it a few times. To make this gradient a little bit more interesting, the same as what we're, we're going to do with the flowers is use different colors because um, most flowers aren't just one color. They may be shades of the same color or they may include other colors. So I'm using a different purple here that's included in your pencil kit. And then I'm going to choose uh, kind of a red. I forget what this one is called, but it's kind of a reddish pink, magenta pink. And you'll see as I add it on there, that color will change just a little bit. If you look at the one right above it, I think that that one was purple all the way through, maybe. And I'm just going to go over it. And this is called layering. You go over it one time, and then you go over it again, and then you can go over it again as well. And you'll get a much smoother gradient, and you'll get a much smoother transition from one color to another if you use this technique. Now we'll just pull it away. It almost looked 3D there for a second. That was pretty cool. One of the reasons why we're using the stencils is so that we can go back and forth. We get our, our hand and our arm kind of used to going back and forth, hitting against kind of a, a little bit of a wall. And it's easier to stay within the region that we want to stay within. Now I'll give another quick example, this time using shades of blue. Notice how many times I'm going to go over this. This is the second time, the third time. There's the fourth time with a light blue. And you can see how important it is to do that layering to make it look clear and clean. Now we're going to start right off with building our flower. We'll have the circular area in the middle. That's where the seeds are located. And then we'll go on and start to draw the petals. I like to think about this part of the petal as kind of a, an airplane propeller. That's what it looks like to me. It's kind of a big loop. And so when I think of a propeller, I'll just draw one on top and one on the bottom. And this will help me kind of make it a little bit more even all the way around the flower. Otherwise, if you start on top and then just keep going around, sometimes it gets kind of awkward <laughs> and makes it more difficult. And you can do as many as you want to. You could do four of these. Um, I can't even remember how many I ended up with here, but I'm just going to do a loop and try to make it go out from the center and go straight out from wherever I'm starting. This one here probably a little bit bigger, but if you look at flowers, sometimes um, petals are different size and that's okay. I don't want you to worry about the outcome of what your flower petals look like. We are really concentration, concentrating on getting a good gradation and learning how to blend and layer those colored pencils to get a more realistic effect. And now I'm just going to start out with a slight gradation. It's going to be a little bit darker on the bottom. I'm using kind of that medium pressure and I'm choosing to, you can do all the, all the way straight up and down to see how I'm kind of layering this right now. I think that's my third, third round of layers. And there's my fourth round of layers. Notice how it reaches all the way to the bottom. And now I'm going to do just a light layer up here. And then I'll fill it out. And 
Now I'm starting again. I'm just doing a darker layer and going over it again just to give it another layer. But I'm not pressing down very hard. I'm still kind of going with that medium to light pressure. Now I'll choose a different color, a different blue. We're doing shades of blue here. You can do whatever shade that you would like to. And I'm going to use the same technique that I used with the first pencil. I'm going to go over the same areas. And just layer it on top of that other one. When with each layer, the bottom area becomes smoother. And you end up with a little bit more of a realistic looking flower. And finally, I'll switch over to my third pencil. I'm going to use that third pencil to cover up that top area. But once again, I'm going to just layer over the entire petal with that color blue. A lot of this is experimentation for you to see what these colored pencils can do as you layer them. Not many of us uh, in our you know previous artistic process have maybe layered pencils at all. Maybe you've just done crayons or colored pencils. You just color it one color and then you move on to the next color. But this is something that will take you to the next level of art and technique. Now I've got that process of down of doing the layers with three different colors. I can do the exact same thing on each of the petals. Nothing's really changing. I'm just repeating myself. So you notice that when we're watching this, it starts out dark blue and it'll start to get uh, a little bit lighter blue, more vibrant blue when we use that final color. So think about that when you're using your three colors too. What would you like your your flower to be? What shade of blue or red or purple? Now we get to the area where the seeds are. And I'm going to choose uh, more of a purple color here. You can choose, of course, whatever color you want on the inside of yours. I thought that purple went hand in hand with blue. So I'm going to go with that. And instead of doing gradations this time, I'm going to do little circles. If you're doing a flower like this, it works really well. Just little, little tiny circles all the way around. Kind of in a, in a line, but I mean in a circle. And you'll see I'm getting closer and closer to the middle. But that's not the only color I'm going to add on to the middle part there. In order to add some areas of maybe shading, just to show texture, I'll use a different color here too. I'm going to put a, I'm pushing down, so I'm creating a gradient in that middle part. If you notice on the right side, I pressed down a little bit harder and got a little bit darker purple. I'm going to jump into one of the blues that I used for the flower to accent it a little. Again, just with little tiny circles. And ended out with that magenta that I used earlier for gradation. You'll see as I'm doing this, it, be it makes the flower look a little bit more realistic with different colors. Now I'm going to use just a darker color. I, I've chose black just to add a little bit of shading to, this, to the side. You can do this if you'd like to. I'm just showing you the technique of it because I know when I'm looking at a real flower that there's going to be a shadow behind that area just a little bit. So I'm not pressing very hard on these. I just know that these areas have a little bit of darkness in them. So I'm using the black. And finally, for each one of the petals, I'm noticing whichever petal goes over another petal, I'm going to put a little bit of darker color there for shadow. And there we have that. Now I'm going to show you just a quick, a couple of quick examples of some other flowers that I tried. This time I'm going to make it my own. I'm going to use different colors all together. Maybe even try to create my very own pattern, maybe my very own creation of a flower that never existed. Try different colors, and once I do one petal, I'm going to try to remember the pattern that I used. And once I have that pattern down in my head, I'm just going to move on to the next petal, just like that. 
And I'll try to make it pretty similar to the pedal that I just did. You can do whatever you want to. You can make it a green if you're if you're a sports fan. You can make it sports fan. You can make it a team color if you want to. Um, again, these aren't these necessarily real flowers. They're just your own creation. A creation uh, that you think would probably be really a neat thing to. <gasps> Now nah, that happens to everybody. All you gotta do is sharpen your pencil and get back to drawing. Just finishing up the petals now and then I got to decide what I'm gonna do for the seed area, the middle. I'm gonna go with a yellow and an orange and just do a little bit of shadow around the edges. And finally, one more flower of my own creation. I decided this time not even to have an area where there were seeds. Just kind of an imaginary flower. I was really concentrating on what kind of colors I would like for this flower. And so I went with kind of a purple-blue uh, magenta and a little bit of dark red. But I encourage you to use your, your very favorite colors on this if you'd like. And see how well you can blend them together. There's the final one. Thanks for watching.